guys, it's Ro. Welcome to my big pantry. For today's video, I got so many requests from you all to do an in-depth tour of my kitchen pantry. So that's what we're gonna do today. I'm gonna show you all the products that I have and how I've organized the shelves inside the drawers. Most of you already know this, but I love home organization, which is why I'm so excited to show you my pantry. And if you missed the announcement, I just launched a home organizational line with iDesign. You can find it at the Container Store. You have seen them in my previous kitchen tour videos. All of my bins were from iDesign, but this time we're new and improved. All of these gorgeous plastic storage bins over here, these beautiful clear ones, are made from 100% recycled plastic bottles. They're post-consumable, so they're bottles that people used and threw out, and we diverted them from going into a landfill, and we made them into these bins. So these are super green, good for the environment, and they're BPA-free, and food safe. Going green is a subject that is near and dear to my heart and this brings me a lot of joy. We're literally turning garbage into beautiful and usable items that you can use in your house. Not only is it turning waste into something beautiful and functional for your house, but the lids, this type of wood is called polonia. And this wood is one of the fastest growing woods on the planet. All the lids have this little seal, so they're airtight. Whoa. Whoa. They're light as a feather, and even for transportation, because they are so light, it reduces carbon footprint. This was a huge passion project. I've been working on this for a couple years now, and I'm so excited that it is finally out. I can finally announce it, and it is ready for everyone to enjoy. So if you are looking to get your life organized and organize your house, I'll put a link down below to where you can find this line. It's at the container store right now. Now, without further ado, let me show you around my humongous pantry. This is truly a chef or baker's dream. The first thing about this pantry is their pocket doors. They slide into the wall. They're on these little tracks. It is very tall. It, the shelves go all the way to the ceiling and I'm very short so you will notice I've got this little step stool over here and not just a one step. This is a double step stool. I might add a rolling ladder like one of those big ladders that you see in libraries. That might be a project for the near future. So I organize the pantry kind of the same way I do the kitchen. The things that I use every day and more frequently are in arms reach. So for me down here and then as you move up the shelves are things that I use kind of less and less. Let's start with the shelves over here in this corner. These are snacks that everyone in my house enjoys. We have got a full house. People are always here. We have the big bag snacks over here. I found this at Trader Joe's and it's like one of my favorite pastas. So I thought it would be incredible in these little puffs. And one of my all time favorite kettle corn. And I've probably said this before, but I love popcorn. I love popcorn so much that it actually has its own bin up here. What I like about the bins is you can organize a bin within a bin. It's like a binception, right? So these little bins are also from my product line. These are made out of bio resin. This is the color coconut named after my dog and I use them to do microwavable bags in here and then I use these when I do the popcorn machine or even over the stove. And up here these are little boxes for my mom and Mike's mom. This is the bar box and no, not alcoholic drinks and we've got some more boxes within boxes so I love this brand this is this saves lives this is a feel-good brand and then these are from Cascadian Farms and they also do cereals I first found these at Starbucks they're in these little coconut cookies and they're just delicious this box back here is my nephew's box this is Grayson's box he actually climbs up on this little step stool and he knows where to go we've got little apple sauces for him juice boxes he loves graham crackers and these little Yum Earth gummy bears. And right here's the goodie box. This is the sweet box, the candies. We've been enjoying Smart Sweets. We've got peach rings. They make sour watermelon gummies. These yummies are also part of the snack corner. I am obsessed with these. They're dried apples. They have mango, pineapple. They do a bunch of different kinds of fruits. The company is Crispy Green and they're so good. This bin says nuts and fruits because I'm always changing them. Right now we've got the fruit tree but over
over here, these two drawers are for back stock. They talk a lot about back stock on home organizational shows, and that's basically just replenishing everything that you have here. So in these two drawers, I've got more of my favorite apple snacks, these cute little nut packets. I love these from Trader Joe's. Yum Earth gummy bears, bars, popcorn. I've got some back stock down here. This has more condiments and foods as well, but it's anything extra. My whole house, including my pantry, is a true live workspace. You'll find a lot of things in here that you may not see in the typical pantry because I bake a lot. I'm a baker and there's a lot of things in here that typically you wouldn't find, such as this napkin towel drawer. So in this drawer, when we do food photography and we'll pair a beautiful plate with a colorful napkin, I only have a couple napkins of each color. You'll see all the colors of the rainbow. So if I'm plating like some Christmas cookies and I want to put a cute little like Christmas napkin with it I can pair together something really cute. We do this for food photography and cookbooks and to organize them I use these bins. It's the same thing you'll see on the upper shelves with these beautiful plates. I have a couple plates in many different colors so that when I do photography you'll see some variety and textures paired with the different food items that I'm making. Also on the higher shelves you'll see a bunch of different cake stands. These are not things that I'm using every day but they're things that I use for photography or to display like my final cake that I worked all week on. On the top shelves, I try to store things that are very seasonal or things that I don't make very often. And pies are the one thing that I don't do all year round. I really make summer pies and then when fall starts, <gasps> pumpkin pies. So I've got a lot of my pie and metal cones up there. You know what else? <laughs> this is why I'm gonna need a ladder. I'm on my top step right here. So sometimes I get up here like this and I will do this and I just hold on for dear life and then I'll grab you know what I need to. I love these. These are the bins from my line as well and I like them because they're really lightweight so everything in here is just the weight of whatever is in there and it's not the weight of the container. Now I have extra stand mixers because sometimes when I'm prep baking my sister, my boyfriend Mike will all be baking together to help to get ready so we each are like making doughs as quickly as we can and we've got three or four stand mixers going at a time. Now over here I keep some of my sauces, the things that I'm using frequently. We've got pizza sauces, pasta sauces, lots of olives. We've just got extra ketchups you can see, extra barbecue sauce. I like to put the condiments on Lazy Susans and I like them because you can spin them around and just see everything that you've got. These ones are also a part of my line. I have them in the bio resin but they I also have them in clear. These clear bins, I love them. Not only are they so beautiful because you can see into them, you can see how much you have have, but they're airtight. So the lids, you can see the little rubber. I showed this before, but whoop, whoop. Yep, you can see the little rubber that goes around and it's nice and snug and they're lightweight and it keeps everything so fresh. They're stackable. You can stack them as high as you want to go. A question that I got asked is how do you know when they've expired? My little trick is you flip them around to the back side and you'll see I've written the expiration date right here, 1222. And to write the date, you don't use a regular pen, you use a chalk marker. I'll just use my finger. You can literally rub it off and when you restock it, you can put the new date. Or you can even cut out on the box the expiration date and you can tape it to the back of the bin. Pasta, you guys know, this stays good for years. Like these pastas are not gonna go bad until 2025. You can see all the food that we have in these bins. We have our grains here. Regular, this is a jasmine rice and a brown rice. And then some more snacks. Then over here is a lot of goodies that I use for baking. These are melting chocolates in different colors. And we've got shredded coconut, cranberries, and all different sized chocolate chips and marshmallows. Next to the pastas are some little boxes mixed meals. I never know what to expect in here. It's always changing. You can see these are open. My mom messes with different things all the time. These are her experiments over here. Underneath the napkins, we've got reusable bags. We've got it all. We've got a few plastic, a few paper, and these ones I found on Amazon. They are my absolute favorite. They got a zipper on the top, and this thing you put at the bottom for more support. They're insulated. They keep your cold things cold. They are amazing. Whew, they're so simple and they are my favorite. Moving on, we've got breakfast 
and baking. We eat a lot of oatmeal in this house. These are some of our favorite brands over here. And then over here, we've got pancakes. We've got regular mix. We've got protein packed whole grains. <laughs> and right up here is the honey. So it's right above the breakfast so you can get to it easy. This is my favorite honey in the world. I mean, it even has a honeycomb inside. We've also got, you know, the syrups up here to go with the pancakes and agave. I also keep my peanut butter up here. We've got peanut butter and almond butter. This entire corner and all of these drawers are just for baking. So up here in another Lazy Susan, I have all of my food colors. We have all the colors of the rainbow. Here I've labeled it. There's extracts and food coloring. This bin is pretty easy to pick up and move around. You can see everything in here. I've got some pretty cool extracts, like even cotton candy extracts, some cool flavorings, butterscotch, lots of vanilla extracts, and even some fresh vanilla beans. I also keep my cinnamon sticks in here and kind of some rarities like molasses. Here I've got oils and salts, specialty baking. We've got some meringue powder. It's basically like an egg white replacement when you're making meringues. Confectioner's glaze. Not your everyday baker is probably using these, but I love to keep them in stock for when we do specialty cakes and projects. These bins down here are pretty normal. They may be very familiar to you all. This one is just a sprinkles box. How fun. Here we have more sprinkles and food coloring. Back here's just general baking. It's a lot of risers. There's yeast, extra baking powders, sodas. These two boxes are back stock because I just have so much of them. More chocolate chips, more M&Ms. So these drawers, I have big tubs of the dry ingredients of things I bake with every day. So this one's like flour, and then we've got almond flour, cake flour, same with down here. We've got cornstarch. You'll see also, not only do I have it labeled cornstarch, but I'll put the expiration date right underneath it. Brown sugar, cocoa powder. Look at all that sugar. Blueberry's gonna help me do the tour. So in this drawer is my fondant drawer. Not only do I keep different fondant, but also fondant that I've colored and dyed and I can reuse again. I also keep a steamer in here because after I make a cake, sometimes I like to steam it to make it look really smooth. And I keep some fondant tools in here as well. But we have got fondant of every color and these bins came in handy because it holds this and this and you can just stack it right on top. On all the handles in the pantry I put a little label right here and it says what's in the drawer. So this is baking accessories and here we've got lollipop sticks for candy sticks of every different shape and size. The my most frequently used cookie cutters. This is one of my favorite drawers. It's baking tools and <gasps> look at all the tools. This is something that I've been doing a lot more of is storing things vertically in a drawer versus just laying down horizontal just throwing it in because I can see everything and with these boxes right here these bins I label the top of them so I'll know what's inside and I can do a double stack and then here this box that was underneath it I know it's silicone molds. Also with these boxes, I made a video on it, but they have dividers. These are optional. You don't have to use these, but they come in handy because you can place them anywhere you want to, to make separate spaces. And for the last drawer of the pantry is all molds. Da -da! We have squeeze bottles and popsicles. And again, I've used bins to separate the items. I've showed you basically everything in my pantry. Last but not least are my cookbooks. I love these bookends and I use them to hold up and display some of my favorite cookbooks. For example, we've got the Nerdy Dummies cookbook there, my very first cookbook. And we've got Baking All Year Round, my second cookbook. All oh, right, that does it for this part of the pantry. Right across the hallway is more cabinets and the other side to this pantry. Not only is this the biggest pantry that I've ever had but this is the biggest pantry I've ever seen so let me take you to the other side let's go here we are on the opposite side of the pantry and basically a second kitchen it's got its own sink its own dishwasher this is the second dishwasher in the house and garbage right here and this is a double garbage as well so the front we do garbage and then the back we do recycling here so it's a nice built-in then over here we've got a mini fridge this is where I keep beverages that are gonna be chilled for like an entertainment or a nice little dinner with friends and then as you can see I mentioned this in my kitchen tour video but this is my other microwave this makes microwavable popcorn here da -da, is the second big fridge of the house this fridge is used just for my baking project so 
in it, whether I'm working on a cake or cupcakes or things need to chill, I'm putting everything in here. And it's also one of the touch fridges, so if you touch it, it will open, and if you forget to close it, she'll close herself. She's a smart fridge. And then down here is the freezer. So, and down here you can see that I've got a lot of extra cakes and icings, lots of Swiss buttercream. In here we have a bunch of goodies. I keep a lot of buttercream icing ready to go, and some puff pastries. In these drawers, I just keep some back stock drinks. But up here, let me show you my favorite cupboard. This is where I store and label all of my baking tips. I'm always using new decorating tips. So here's the before. This is what I used to use to store my tips for years and years. I label gunned all of them and it worked great, but I outgrew it. I started to get so many tips that I had to start doubling up. Let me show you my new baking tips storage. For a baker, this is the best thing that could ever happen to you. <laughs> this is an entire cupboard of tips. I even raised the shelf to have room in here. So you can see here we've got one tips, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I've even got a place for my rose nails. Now this is when you're piping the flowers onto. I never had a great place for it. And all of these just slide out, they stack together, and look how deep they go. I mean, I have room for more friends. I can keep stacking these up and up and up. I mean, I can have a whole baking tip wall. This is the kind of stuff I dream about, and this is now a dream come true. Above the baking tips, I've got a lot of cake boards and cake plates. I really have been loving storing things vertically. That's one of my biggest organizational tips that I could give you. Try it vertical. And up top, I've got my two really nice turntables for decorating. While we're up here, welcome to KitchenAid land. Here I have a bunch of my KitchenAid bowls. I'm always using different size bowls. We have a KitchenAid mini, we have three regular size KitchenAids, and then we have a large commercial KitchenAid. So here is all of their accessories and attachments. And I use these bins so I can just find everything easily. We've got so many KitchenAid whisks, and as you can see, they're in different sizes for the different stand mixers. And in here, I keep all of the attachments. So many dough hooks and different kind of paddles. I love it. And my scale. Oh, and under the sink, what do I keep under here? My commercial size KitchenAid, because it's very heavy and I didn't want to put it up high. It comes out every December when I'm making big batches of cookies. All right, everybody, I've got two more cupboards to show you when we're doing food photography or doing pictures, we use a lot of different props. I organize them in bins and by shelf. My pie pans are up top and I've got these bins to organize a bunch of the different things that I use. I just love these types of bins because you can easily see what's in there because of this opening. But let's move on to our last cupboard. Over here above the micro lave, we've got these two bins over here are dedicated to tiny baking. Look how cute this is. This is a teeny food measure Cup. It has all these cute little things, little mixing bowls. I make so many dog treats that I have another bin. This is just for dog treats. So many different little molds in here. They're so cute. More popsicle molds because I love popsicles. And up here on these shelves are more beautiful plates that I use for photography. And on the very top shelf is my fancy tea set, which I don't use very often. I, I wish I would use it more, but I just don't. I just use my coffee mugs. Last but certainly not least is the beautiful built-in bar cabinet in the pantry. I love hosting and having dinners. I keep most of the spirits on the bottom shelf here. A lot of these were gifts from friends. We had a housewarming party. Look how cute this is. I gotta show this one. I'm a tequila girl and our friends brought this over and they even made this little nerdy nummies cookie. Like how cute is this? One bottle here that's really special to me is my dad's last batch. My dad used to distill whiskeys and gins. That was one of his big hobbies. This is it. He called it Reardon's River and it's one of the best batches he's ever made. I take a shot of this every year to celebrate my dad. Above the spirits, I keep a bunch of different glasses for the themed drinks. We have champagne glasses, wine glasses, shot glasses, whiskey glasses, and vases for flowers. And then up above are more specialty drinks like milkshakes or those hurricane glasses if you want to make a tropical drink, and some more vases up there. Last one down below, we have some more wines. Now in the front of my house, there is a wine wall, but down here is where we keep just a little bit more. We have some back stock over here. My favorite champagne, Vouf, and a bunch of other little things mixed in. We also 
love Pinot Noirs, so for reds, I love a Pinot Noir. Then over here, I'm using the storage bins. I just have a bunch of my different little gadgets. We have little wine stoppers here, aerators, measuring, Coco Lopez to make the most delicious pina coladas that you've ever had. All right, that does it for the pantry tour. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I am super excited about my new home organization line. I'll put a link down below if you want to go check it out. It is also available at the container store. If you like this video, you like seeing what was in my pantry and how I organize things, don't forget to like the video, click subscribe, it's free, and ring the bell to receive notifications every time I post a new video, because I'm going to be posting some really fun videos, cooking, baking videos, home organizing videos, and some really fun special vlogs coming up, a very special life family moments. And let me know in the comments down below if there's any other rooms of the house that you would like to see a more in-depth tour of. All right, thanks again for watching, you guys. Bye-bye. And if you'd like to watch any other videos, you can click up here or up here. Here or here or here or here. Diddly bop 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 bop